Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a door family. So under families, I want to go with actually English Imperial. It's going to be, be in feet and inches. I'm going to go with door, open, all right. So I can use HH to hide some of these items. Uh, the door which is here already has kind of a frame. I'm going to delete it, erase it. Okay, and this shows where the door is cut, uh, which we're going to keep. Uh, first things first, type UN for units. In this case, I want to go with length, and I'm going to work in inches, three decimal places. Then I want to change it to custom, put it on four decimal places, so add one zero here. And I'm going to use the symbol for the inches. That's all right. Okay. Now, if we go to the reference level, uh, this is actually showing us the width. I want to close the ceiling plan. We just want to work on the reference level. And I want to go to one of the views, maybe exterior. So you see, width and height, as you see here, are defined as parameters. So that means if I go here, under actually dimensions, we can change width and height and whatever number we change this into is going to actually uh, work like that. So the door that I want to create, let's say it's a five feet door, the width is 59 and a half. So I want to go here, change the width from here to 59 and a half inches, apply. And the height is 80 and 3 eighths. So I want to go here. And to the height, I want to assign 83 eighths of an inch, which is going to know that it's 80.375. OK, so now it's better. Now I'm going to start working on the profiles here. Uh, on the bottom uh, of the door, uh, we have this profile, actually. So this is a sliding door. Uh, and the panels actually will be located around here. So I should go either to right or to the left view to draw the profile here at the bottom. I want to switch to thin lines by using TL for the shortcut. So here at the bottom, I want to start drawing a profile. So let's go to create uh, extrusion. And I'm going to draw some lines. So the first one. This is uh, 1.399 going down, and on the other side is 3.129. So uh, from here, this is 1.399. And this other side, this is 3.129. So 3.129, right? And uh, these little parts, each of them is uh, one eighth of an inch apart. So uh, 0.125 so I'm gonna go here so I'm gonna draw another line 0.125 which is one eighth of an inch and uh, on this side I also want to offset this line by one eighth of an inch uh, we're gonna have one line here I'm gonna trim this and we need to keep going to create this whole profile here. Uh, to close the part at the top, I want to go with a start and radius arc. Uh, you can copy this. Feel free to use copy multiple times. Going here and here. Uh, then I just need to uh, finish edit mode. And I want to move this to the center here. So if we look at it in a different view, let's say exterior, uh, the two sides should be locked to the two reference planes. So, so I want to move this side and lock it here and move the other side and lock it here. So if we take a look here, if I go with HH again, uh, you see we have that profile at the bottom. Now on the right side, at the top, we have a different profile. 
so this is where the door ends. Uh, so here at the top, this is the profile that we're going to go with. So I'm going to start from one corner and draw this one. Uh, just another extrusion. Uh, starting from here, it's 1.125. The thickness here is 0 0.047. And again, we need to keep going to complete this profile here. Uh, so this is the top profile. I want to close it, move it again to the center. And on the other view, we need to lock it again to the two edges. So now no matter what the size is, it's going to actually uh, resize these two. For instance, if I go here and if I change the size to, let's say, 61 and a half, you see it's going to change. I'm going to go back to 59 and a half. And now we need to crea create the side profiles uh, we can go to reference level this time and I want to use HH to hide this we can draw the profile here uh, this is the same profile as the top profile on the side so here I'm gonna start from this corner we're gonna move it there so I'm gonna go with extrusion 1.125 on this side and on the other side it's 3.125 3 and 1 eighths of an inch. Okay, so we can keep going. Uh, so I want to move this profile to the center. Uh, finish this mode and if we go to maybe exterior view, we need to lock the top and bottom. So make sure to move this and then bring it back and lock it also on the top. We're going to lock it up here. That's the one. Uh, and then we can mirror this. So I want to mirror going here. And uh, you need to make sure to move this, bring it back. So it's going to allow you to lock it. Also here at the bottom, it needs to be locked. So it's going to only move with the uh, edges. If I go here, we can also join these corners. If I select one of these, join, and the other corner, because the profiles are the same, we can join here, but we cannot exactly join at the bottom. I'm going to save this family. I'm going to name this as the door structure. And maybe one backup is enough. Uh, let's double check the work. If we go here, change the height. Let's say it's 100 for instance. Or change the width. It should change automatically. I want to go back. Uh, in the next videos, we're going to create the panels.